The child known as Blanket, who now goes by Biggie Jackson, Michael Jackson's alleged son, leaves his grandmother, Catherine Jackson, for dead. Legally, at least. Some of you may not know this, but there has been this ongoing battle between Michael Jackson's estate executors over a reported nine-figure deal to sell half of Michael Jackson's catalog. During this battle, Catherine and Biggie were on the same side against the executors, but in no surprise, he has now decided to side with the executors to wrap up the reported $600 million deal and is now demanding that his 93-year-old grandmother pay the legal fees associated with Catherine attempting to appeal the court's decision to allow the sale. So now this 93-year-old woman has to fight her own grandkid to maintain her son's legacy that he literally worked his whole life for, as well as staving off those vultures who periodically pop up attempting to sue his estate for claims that were previously dismissed. I'm talking to you, 40-year-old Wade Robinson, who hasn't worked since the 90s, allegedly, and James Safechuck, who's a 45-year-old man who is also allegedly unemployed. By the way, these men are headed to court sometime this year to literally accuse a dead man in the hopes of a financial windfall for accusations previously proven as false. Unbelievable, but I digress. I mean, are we shocked by the way his children behave? Clearly, they don't see the value in their father's music, his legacy, and is willing to sell it to the highest bidder for their benefit. Also, this blanket, biggie, or whatever he calls himself, has taken issue with the reported $55 million that Catherine has received over the 15 years since Michael Jackson's death, and he feels that she can handle her expenses from here on out. Do you think that Catherine should let the sale go through and enjoy her latter years in peace? Because after all, she can't take the money or his legacy with her when she goes, or should she fight to the literal death? At the end of all of this, Michael Jackson is the king of pop and will be for generations to come, and there will never ever be anyone that comes a close second to him. And for me, as a fan, that's enough. I'll close with this. All the parties involved who stand to make a profit from this man's life's work, all of them have one thing in common, and I'll let you all tell me what that is in the comment section. If you haven't already, remember to like the video and subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell and please watch when you're notified. I'd really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.